This is a glimpse into my life. Life with Eric. Eric's here. And I'm Kylie. And I'm Eric. Okay, I think we know who you are. Oh. So I have a question for you. Yeah. Would you consider yourself a mama's boy? Yes, I would. Okay. But you know what? Not today. Cause Not today? I sat down and all my mom does is make fun of me. Oh. oh then, then her last comment was, put a bag over your head. I have another question. I didn't how, say that. How Mask. many times have you seen We didn't your, even introduce you yet. How many times have you seen your mom this week? This is the first time this week. It's a lie. <laughs> it's a lie. I think I see my mom every day this Have week. Have you seen your mom more than you've seen me this week? Yes. <laughs> but how anyway, many, we how have... How many times have you called your mom what? this week? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even introduce you guys yet. God okay, damn. if you haven't figured it out, it's a shit show. <laughs> and mom and dad are with us, our most popular podcast guests. Yes. We could literally have... Tom Cruise on, and Mom and Dad would be more popular. On Probably. The podcast. I feel like they might be. Yeah, a lot more fun. But yeah, we, so Mom and Dad are here, and Dad wasn't supposed to be here, but Mom didn't want to leave him home alone. Did you know that, Dad? <laughs> yep. You can't be Just left to your I'd own devices. Too much. Yeah. No, I didn't say that. <laughs> you didn't? I didn't say that. Dad said that. Well, that's why he's here. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say that, but I implied that. <laughs> but I mean, that's she why he's here. She hit the nail right on the head. Yeah. But uh, anyway, so... We sat down here, and before the mic, we should have turned the mics on early. Before we turn the mics on, everybody is just making fun of each other. The They're whole, just the making whole, fun of you. Oh, making fun of me? I thought everybody was making fun of each other. No. Okay. Just you. Yeah. So no bag over my head. My mom said my I nose was longer oh, than yeah. six inches. Okay, maybe just you two. That's right. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I just say Matt. That's bag, funny. I say um, mask. I got a funny thing for the six-inch nodes thing. <laughs> so Tony Greasley, uh, Joe LaMonica's yes. friend one time, there was a girl rollerblading rollerblading by on the boardwalk and and as she went by a good looking girl he goes sit on my face and she blasts him by and she stops and she turns around and rollerblades back on him she goes why is your nose bigger than your dick and then she <laughs> oh went my roll- god <laughs> <laughs> then she so went good. rollerblading off it's perfect <laughs> <laughs> oh you better not ask tony <sighs> thinks he's hot <laughs> Well, he probably didn't enjoy that. He knows. He knows that. <laughs> He's the nose it. knows. The nose knows. <laughs> that brings back memories. I know. Joe, their birthday parties. What? Tell us now. Tony's birthday parties. Oh, okay. No, I was like, do they have joint birthday parties together? <laughs> the first time I met all of Joe's friends. We're gonna have to edit oh, that out. unbelievable. <laughs> We're cool. She was on point. I don't know what happened. Yeah. <laughs> the he night had the, to the, the he we had, hit record and we don't know what's coming out now. He what? had to show everybody. Show everyone his dick? It's bigger than his nose. <laughs> oh. I'm like, what are we talking about here? Totally knows. Okay, well, he'll you like to really hear that. You're really beating around that oh, bush Why didn't he just go out and say <laughs> yeah. that instead of all this weird you, stuff yeah, he said before? Weird, he, loves yeah. it. he loves it. Right. His dick? <laughs> or his nose. <laughs> Yay. The, sto- the story is that Sorry, Tony. Uh, it's true. it was Tony's... Uh, birthday party and we went to a real fancy restaurant they gave us a private room Yo. and it was about you know 10 or 12 of us and uh so tony starts doing all this crazy stuff with somebody got a him a barbell that you can put on his dick oh to, to oh, it, and he to started make it, to make it bigger and no, he's he sitting next to, to show mom that i know i didn't the even know him it. yeah <laughs> and he does it at the table he puts it on he tr- uh, I didn't even know them. They're Whips all it out. from Boston. Sausage on the menu. They're all from Boston. They're like, you know. Crazy. Crazy. Crazy people. All right. So let's he, let's, let's, so get, he, let's he, get this he, back he, on the tracks. Okay. Let's get this back on the I got to finish the story a little bit. Finish it. Go ahead. So the reason that we came to the party is because uh, Tony and his associates <laughs> wanted to borrow money from me. Oh, okay. And so he asked... Uh, so really? he showed you his dick. He also, no, yeah, so he's flown around with mom over there. He yeah, goes, well, who's the to... guy we're trying to borrow the money yeah, from? Yeah, the guy's goes, wife. Yeah, it's her husband sitting across the table from you. I didn't know oh, that. Oh, that's, that's that a true story. That's a great way to ask someone to do, uh, borrow money. Right. Is that a true story? You better watch it. I never out. heard about that. I never heard that. I never heard that either. You're on the uh, podcast. Uh, podcast. Here we go. It's out in the world. Yeah. You Look know what, kinda, dad, don't get a microphone. I thought it was kind of funny, and mom had mentioned this when she walked in the door today. What happened with dad? You came home from the bar and dad flipped Bruce and Linda off? Yeah, we're driving home from the bar. like <laughs> We were joking. Yeah, but what happened though? No. Mom was really offended. I'm at the stoplight and they're behind us. We're all laughing. We're leaving the bar and everything. Dad sticks his hand out and gives the bird. And I'm looking at Bruce and Linda's face and, you know, Bruce. 
Have they ever like, seen go, the bird before? I don't think so. <laughs> Not the bird. After all these Car- years, the honk, the and finger. I go, put your hand back in, and then he lifts it back out and does it again. <laughs> oh, your hand like, was out the window. Out the and window. And so the car started honking? It's jam-packed. And how does anyone know that Who our friends are behind that's us? That's your friends. You think you're flipping I'm off joking somebody. with our honk- friends. It was right across from the sh- are- steak and shake. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. All car- the cops no. were coming? <laughs> no, it's over by the... You know, Mavericks. So everybody's honking. <laughs> Which is next to the steak and shake. Yeah, next to the steak <laughs> and shake. He's an asshole, and he's doing all, I was so mad. But I looked at Bruce and Linda. I was laughing. So they were like. Were they shocked? Have yeah. you talked to them yet? No. Are they, they mad at you? No. Yeah. They're oh. like going, uh, what is he doing? How could he do that? Why is he doing that? Do you at think the they really light? are, or they thought that was funny? They told us to stop uh, by after, I don't the, really after know. the podcast. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, okay. They're not mad at you then. <laughs> yeah, they don't care. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. No, but who does that? Oh. Well, yeah. Have they, well, have they ever seen a finger that big? That, that's <laughs> a whole, yeah. That's another. Maybe that's what people were honking. Yeah, that's Maybe another Maybe it wasn't story. the bird. It was the fi- <laughs> the actual size of the finger. Yeah. <laughs> that could be. <laughs> but um, those of you out there that don't know, we're we're all from Tahoe besides Kylie. Right. Which he kind of is a little bit. Not really. I mean, okay. I just like to marry people yeah, from we're Tahoe. We're all from Tahoe, but there's a unique... Yeah. There's, <laughs> yeah, right. Kylie only marries people from Tahoe. Right. <laughs> <laughs> we're, um, there's a unique thing going on in Tahoe, and President Biden is staying in Tahoe for a week. So what's going on is they're launching Coast Guard... They, asked, they launched eight Coast Guard ships, Dad. Yeah. And they yeah. had all the inspections, and then there's all these... Uh, Helicopters and these weird big planes coming over. I've been seeing them circle. See one, see one yeah. it's, it seems 40s. like they're, up, they're it seems like they're observation planes. They're kind of no. quiet and they have a propeller oh. on top. Oh, and they circle the three in a row and they keep circling uh, the lake. Interesting. Well, those, uh, I, w- ahead, I wonder. Mom. Stop. Go ahead, mom. I wonder why. <laughs> lake Tahoe and Incline Village people are for Trump. So, well, so they think they're gonna. Something's going to happen to Biden because there's so well, many Trump people. Oh, you never know. I don't got think a lot that, of money, a lot of guns. I don't guns, think that has anything to do with it. Hey. I, I think they would do it for any president. Everybody in the world knows he's staying in Glenbrook, so he probably isn't. Yeah. Like, he's oh, probably, like right. I'm thinking yeah. they're, they're- The big secret. You know, they probably have him in some other spot. <laughs> Everybody he's, thinks he's in Glenbrook, but- But he's not. The Coast Guard ships are out in front on the lake, so they're watching around the lake, and they yeah. got these helicopters. I mean, yeah. it's amazing. The guy comes did, there for a week. How yeah, did he get here? You know, he's just inside eating soup or something. Air Force One didn't come in yesterday, did it? No, they prepare early. Oh, we saw the plane. You saw your first one? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we saw oh. the we saw Oh, the yesterday air. you did? Oh, yeah, we were waiting for it. Yeah, it's all lit up. Yeah. Oh, he's sitting on, the, he's sitting there, on the tarmac? There's you, usually another ate, plane ate. behind it in disguise, but they didn't have it. Huh. Well, you, there might be another one coming. You don't, right. even, you don't even know no, what they, they really do. No, they try to do that. But uh, Biden's so old that he, he does even know he's in Lake Tahoe. Right. No. Evidently, he wanted to come. He wanted, He's going to stay a week. Well, he's he, not anymore. No, now he's going to Maui. But oh yeah, he was uh, going to stay no, a week. He's not doing any speed. He's on vacation. He's on vacation. Yeah. It's kind of weird that they sit in his chair, looking at the lake, he, eating his soup, watching the. Why do he's I think a, it seems like I, Biden just eats soup and looks outside? Like, through I a straw? That. Yeah. Because that's what I think of. I just like picture that. <laughs> well, he yeah. rides his bike. I don't yeah. know. His, I, I hope don't know he's not riding fake. his bike. Yeah. I don't know if it's fake or not, but they show him riding a bike with a helmet. It could be, you know. Was ten, it the time he ten, fell? Ten Secret years service ago. guy. Body could double. Could be ten years ago. You know, Is what? it AI? Body about, double. <laughs> about 20 years ago, George, or 20, 30, George Bush Sr. Oh, George H. He stayed at one of the residences on Lakeshore, and their boat kind of got stuck, and he jumped out of the boat. And helped everybody push the boat off oh. the sandbar. Oh, he, he, or was something. Guy. Yeah. he was a tough the Bushes guy. Are, he was a even tough George, guy. Even George the, Jr. or whatever. W? George yeah. W. They were tough. Yeah. They from were, Texas. They're from Texas. They're like they used rangers. To cows yeah. They used to cow. Yes. Um, now, do you think, did you ever look that, there's an Indian guy running for president? That's what Eric said. I don't even really his know. Na- his name is you know Vivek Al? Ramaswamy, and he's from, he's Indian guy. Vivek. And he, and he, Vivek. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Vivek. Vivek, Vivek Ramaswamy, and he is 35, 36 years old. I don't know. And Kylie, pull up a picture and show my mom. Um, Eric nice, said he's nice. No, looking. he's kind of a nice looking guy, nice looking boy, but he might he might give a run for the presidency. I think it's time to have a younger guy in there. Talks yeah. really well. Um, he had, he got all his money from tech companies. How do we not know, right here, Eric? This guy right here. Oh, he looks good. Yeah. Yeah, he's I mean, for an Indian guy, you like usually, you know. usually say that him. the boys from India are kind of ugly and the girls are really good looking. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but, well, I guess they do know. say that. Maybe he was young. Some are skinny and scrawny. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, he looks pretty skinny yeah. to me. 
Well, but anyway, he looks good. Yeah, he might make a make a make a run for it. I don't know. He's a long shot, I'm sure. But Do you know that people Al? like him. Yeah, I saw him. He, he's uh, he's smart. Yeah, <laughs> super smart, super good talker. He's young and a lot of energy. He's 38, and yeah, he's 38 from Ohio. Oh, oh, Ohio. Did yeah. he win any uh, spelling bees? They always do. Ooh, Indian guys? Yeah, Indian kids. Well, maybe see if he won the national spelling bee. I'm just curious. The what kids, did he really did? The kids always do. Kylie, <laughs> yeah, Kylie's going to research stuff, but that's to be. Uh, he that, does. Ha- he did get his undergrad at Harvard and has a law, a doctorate of law from Yale. Yeah, well, good. So he's a <laughs> smart a, fella. Yeah, he's yeah. smart. Yep, he might have won the spelling bee. And I think his <laughs> right. wife. Yeah. And I think it, he, yeah. Yeah. I think his wife is a doctor too. I will find. I believe so. Up, that and she seemed real nice. So wow. his family's from Kerala. His, oh my God! His family's from Kerala. Yeah, see? My son lives in Kerala. <laughs> and Eric's where? Brother. <laughs> you didn't even say it right. You said Kerala. I said Kerala. Kerala. Carrot land. <laughs> Kerala is called. I uh, said Kerala. Go backwards and listen. Uh, we Look, will. We, oh, we will. <laughs> we will because you said Kerala or something like that. No, I didn't. Yeah, you did. Dad, <laughs> Dad's the final answer. What did Mom say? It wasn't Kerala. Right. It was something else. <laughs> it was something Kerala. else. Caradise. I said Caroline. Caradise. Caramelized. Maybe I, I, Caramelized. Maybe I put my, I was laughing and excited. <laughs> oh, okay. Didn't come out right. Well, I wonder if Matt knows him then. Yeah, she's a, his wife's I'm a sure physician. I'm sure he does. Yeah, his wife's a doctor and he's yeah. a, ask obviously Ama. a lawyer guy. Yeah. Ama. Well, I don't so, know if he practices law. He's like a. No, no, he was a tech guy. Yeah. Company guy. He's got millions and millions of dollars. You got to investigate. Yeah. So he, um, biotech. He's like a. A biotech. His money's has, in biotech. He's founded oh. a biotech company. But anyway. Of course. I kind of <laughs> like that guy. Yeah. Like I'm kind of interested in that guy. You never said he wrapped that. Eminem. He's a smooth talker. Wow. Yeah, and he was, and he was, and he, he was doing an Eminem rap on one of his campaigns and stuff. Yes, he and everybody, did. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, so he's kind of a hip, cool guy, and I think our, I think our country needs something like that. He's real calm. We need something yeah. different. I think our country needs a guy, we don't super want a smart guy, someone or, that can ride a bike and doesn't eat uh, soup. Someone that's not <laughs> 80 years old. <laughs> we don't want Post a sleeper. Form a sentence. Yeah. We don't, I don't, don't think a president should be old, older than 75. We don't want a sleeper, a stutterer. I'm sorry. But a I sleeper? think he sleeper. never. <laughs> I used to stutter. You can't get it out. <laughs> you Eric, can't oh, be president. I be president. <laughs> you can't be Eric, president now. What? You can't be president because it probably all come back. But who knows? Because <laughs> what? <laughs> she all said your stutter will yeah, come back? If I get elected to president, my stutter will come back. Oh, no. Yeah, that would that anyway. would be good. <laughs> uh, but I don't know. I think it's pretty interesting. Uh, so we'll see. But I don't think Biden should run again. I think he should be done. Yeah. That well, you know, whatever. Try to tell him. Right. That. We need some young right. young blood. Yeah. Since we were talking about Matt, and those of you that don't know, uh, my mom and dad's son and my brother and Kylie's brother in law lives in <laughs> Kerala, India, and for twenty two, twenty three years now, right. and um. Matt had an interesting story, and, and, and he's yes. following me back up. Do you remember when I put all the Tabasco in his, his ho-ho? Yeah. Yeah. So I, Matt <laughs> said I— clarify me- the story now. Matt said I messed up the story, <laughs> and now I'm running a blank because I can't remember why. He said why. it wasn't a ho-ho. It was a ding-dong. Oh, first yeah. of all, it was a ding-dong. First of all, yeah. it was yeah. a ding-dong. <laughs> I'll tell the whole story. Tell it so <laughs> went, shortly. We, we already told it a couple weeks ago. Go ahead and tell I it, I went Mom. up to the teacher. And I said, someone keeps stealing my son's ding-dong. <laughs> <laughs> and, and the teacher, the teacher started teacher laughing immediately. Like, almost fell on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> and she got up. <laughs> and she said, I'm so sorry. What's a ding-dong? Because <laughs> I know what like I think a, it is. And I'm like hoping cupcake. you're not talking about that. <laughs> but, so Matt clarified it. And he said, mom told the teacher that he's stealing his ding-dong. But the thing I filled up to the basket was a ho-ho. So you said, oh. yeah, I just, mom used to buy ding dongs or ho hos, and that would be the <laughs> snack and the lunch, right? Right. And so I, f- I filled up, injected the ho ho with Tabasco sauce. And then I asked Matt, I go, yeah. did the kid ever get her? He goes, oh yeah, the kid stole it and, nothing, and ate and, it, and, ate and it. they never heard nothing. And he goes, he never took it again. Oh, <laughs> it never so it worked. Imagine the kid I biting into the ho ho with a fill of Tabasco. He, yeah, he stuttered for the rest of the year. Yeah. Right. right. Yeah. I used to throw one or the other in. His lunch, but it, it's yeah. a true story. Hey, hey That's Mom, funny. I was yeah. talking to Jazz uh, two weeks ago when we had him on the podcast, and he thought it was really great and funny that um, you used to make me fried bologna for lunch. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I got to clarify yeah. that. We said we fried up the bologna, but what we do is we cut the bologna in triangles, mm-hmm. yeah. pieces, and then fry them up. And now Dad puts, like, onions and stuff in with oh. it. No, and I used to put it onions. on their uh, bread, probably white bread, I think and either, ketchup. Yeah. And they would take it to school. So it was basically right. like a flattened hot dog. But yeah. crispy. And everybody like, like would fried. say. So it was basically a flattened Hopefully, grilled hot dog. Everybody yeah. would say, right. what are you eating? 
and they used to uh, trade hopefully food. Hopefully it's crispy because uh, after I got off spam, then I went to the bologna. <laughs> right, <yeah. laughs> you guys well, are still alive. Well, I think, Dad, didn't didn't your, your mom used to, because you guys grew up real poor, so didn't they always make fried bologna? Oh, yeah. That, that's how where we got the. Well, I didn't even know about it until I met. Or it's not Dad. a recipe, but oh it's yeah, not a recipe. yeah, Dad's yeah, family used the one to eat the fry bologna, and spam they used to eat too because you we know, had a that lot casserole of, my mom makes with spam. Yeah, a lot. I, I wish your mom that casserole is really good. I wish she would crisp yeah. the spam up a little tighter. You have to crisp it. I don't like when it's gummy, like oh, no. like squishy. It has okay. to be crisp. I don't like it. Right. Well, Chewy. Uh, um, your dad's mom used to fry up the fat in little tiny round circles, and everybody would die for it. Little fat. Fat pieces. of what? Spam? No. Spam fat? No. What kind of fat? fat. Any kind of fat. Pork fat. I don't know. Oh, like no. steak fat, pork fat. Yeah. Ooh. And you used to like chew on it like a piece of gum? No. They, she'd make them real crispy. What'd it's you call them? Crustiki or... Uh, How do you crisp? Did spam? she make like a gravy out of it? No, no, no. no. Huh. Just crisp like, like potato chips. I didn't chips. even know you could make fat crispy like potato like chips. Well, like what a hors d'oeuvre. Like hors <laughs> Like fry them. Skin, like though. dip them in it. Yeah. She would fly... Fr- Fry f- fly. Whoa. Fry flat. <laughs> oh, Boy. Like, like pork. I, I can't. Like pork. Who are we worried about drinking fry. too much today? I, have, I, have, I haven't even finished my cat. She would fry, fly the flat. <laughs> fry fat. And they would all go huh. and they called it Sparkies. Oh, Sparkies, yeah. And I wonder oh. why everyone died young back then. Yeah. Right, yeah. yeah. No wonder everybody had a heart attack. Grandma's making Sparkies. Huh. Oh, okay. Interesting. That's interesting. Well, can yeah. I, can never I heard tell that my before. Polish? Uh, yeah. 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 Can I tell you, my you Polish story? Yeah. Yeah. It'll be short. Those of you who don't know, Dad's Polish. <laughs> so uh, we used to go visit uh, Grandma, and we called her Grandma, but uh, Grandpa was uh, uh, Jaji. It, cause they they both name. they both never they don't they didn't speak English, and so when she knew that I was coming, she would make uh, um, uh, what was that sound? Um, this. It was like uh, ground. <laughs> I'm trying to think of the name while I'm doing this, but uh, she'd make this thing. What was there. it? Out of potatoes or something? No, no. It was like uh, ground up hamburger meat, and she would fry it, and uh, real crispy and all that kind of stuff. So uh, I loved it, and I put ketchup on it, and I loved it. Hmm. So about thirty years later, I'm in Hawaii talking to Frank, who's from Chicago, and he says. Uh, so I'm trying to think of the name of the thing. He says, oh, I, yeah, so I used to love when my grandma used to make me, um, I can't think of the name right now. But <laughs> Brains. But he goes, oh, you you like blood sausage? Ew. And I go, oh. Well, needless to say, I've never eaten any more after that. <laughs> oh, so it was not ground hamburger. It was blood sausage. Yeah. Little Chris, crispy critters. I'd rather eat the Sparkies. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sparkies is better. You probably ate it, too, and didn't even know it. Yeah. Right. No, I, we ate him. I wonder if this guy ever ate blood sausage. I, I would say yes. Hey, everybody. This is Joe LaMonica with LaMonica Custom Builders. You want a custom home from a Southern California premier home builder? Call me, Joe LaMonica with LaMonica Custom Builders. 310-465-3347. We did a funny segment last week, Mom, where um, uh, we talked about how you fell in that hole. <laughs> Sorry. And you fell down. And Kylie and I did the segment of, of you bring your spouse to work day. And I said, Would, did you hear me on the podcast last week? I said, well, yeah. why can't I bring my mom? She'd be in falling today. holes all day. Yeah. I had to pick her up at the bottom of the trench. Yeah. <laughs> we're tripping over everything. Well, we were walking around at night up at Incline, the condos. I had my dogs. I wasn't drunk. Are you yeah. sure? Are you sure? No. Somebody, no, somebody took the cone. I try. No, somebody took the cone. <laughs> I don't think the there ever was a cone. I don't there think there ever was, was a cone. cone. Yeah. So... My like, dog started barking and chase, going after someone, and we turned the corner, and I stepped in the hole, of course. <laughs> but when you stepped in the hole. for the thousandth time of my when life. When she stepped in the hole, she went, and then she went down to two knees that yes, hit the concrete. Yes, knees first. And then fell and rolled to the ground. <laughs> they're like artificial, a barrel roll. so they're, they're, they're so titanium. They're titanium, so you got to go on your knees first because they won't well, break. Well, Ike won't because they will break. <laughs> yeah, now you got thick bones, Mom. Like, I think so. I don't know. I hit... Like how many times have that... you fell in your life? Oh God, a thousand, <laughs> probably the, more than the that. The only thing that um, how many hurt... windshields have you broke with your head? Uh, two. <laughs> so my middle finger. I broke one. No. Got uh, hurt. It oh, wasn't my we head. didn't. Your middle finger got hurt. Yeah, I can barely. You didn't complain I, I about that. I can't bend it all the way down. Oh. 
Did you go to the doctor? No. Oh, okay. Uh, no, she was okay. Yeah. Mom's oh, broken oh, no. two windshields with her head, and Dad's broken one windshield with his butt. <laughs> he did. He broke huh. a windshield with True his butt. True story. We came home from getting all drunk, and, we, and uh, Joe was driving, and uh, he comes slamming up the driveway, and I was in the front seat, and he slams on the brakes. I guess I was giving a B.A. to somebody. To the windshield. And, uh, Who knows? The, and let's clarify this. Hit the windshield. Wait, wait. Was you were inside the car or outside of the car? Inside the car. The da- above the dashboard. Okie dokes. But uh, let's clarify this. And Joe goes, How? you're going to pay for it. And I go, no. Nah, y- y- your wife was antagonizing me. Or <laughs> she, nope, I'm not. But let's clarify this. How old were you when this happened? It's a valid question. You think, you think they were in high school, right? You would think like 21. No, how no. old were you? Like 50, Probably, 51? Right. 50 Probably something. in our 40s or high. <laughs> 50s. Maybe 50. <laughs> Maybe 50. It was last year. <laughs> I have a real bony ass, though. That's my wife. <laughs> obviously. Obviously, I have a real bony ass. Whole windshield. That was oh, the, my goodness. That was uh, the war. They said Al's ass was too bony. And broke the window. Oh, and they want me to pay for it? Yeah. Mm. No. If someone if someone hung a BA in my car and I slammed on the brakes and it broke the window, I would not want him to pay for it. I'd be like, no, it's okay. Mm. No, he didn't it's, pay for it. No one, you shouldn't because it's just stu- so stupid that you deserve to pay for it. Right. It's worth it just to talk about it <laughs> 20 years <laughs> later. Yeah. Well, Ryan Crump got thrown off of his baseball team his senior year in high school for BA in the girls' golf team in a van. Like a big old wide hairy hole BA. Ew. Uh, oh. And yeah, and he got you have a hairy hole in high school. Well, Ryan didn't get burnt out. His hair got all burnt out, but um, but anyway, he had you know scar tissue hair. Nuggets. Yeah, nuggets. Uh, we'll call his it. This is just I, a squeaky well, no, clean asshole. We'll just call it sparkles. And just, uh, <laughs> so, should he spread his cheeks or just put his butt out? No, he spread oh. balls and everything, oh. and spread them so you could see right down. Okay. And jokes. the whole girls' golf team and the coach was so offended. I mean, he got kicked off the ba- and he was a starter. Kicked off the baseball team and didn't, you know, he said it super depressed him. Well, he was yeah. Like, Why did your I do that? Your livelihood in high school. And I swear your cousin Andy got kicked off he for something like something that, too. He did something similar as well, I feel. Yeah, they're kind of the same person. I think, yeah, two. I think there was well, something like that. I was on a, 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 a softball team. You, Mitts, tits, and you, gave you know him what? A BA? Asses. MTAs. <laughs> and we had to play yeah. MTAs. That was the name of a softball team. Uh, Mitts, that was, tits, and asses. That was uh, asses. Stanley's Restaurant. And um, we were playing the Beavers. <laughs> and the girls were a bunch of wild hyenas. <laughs> oh, so not two beavers. Let's just say the girls were more on the masculine yeah. side. And so oh, when we, they like to beef. When yeah. we got <laughs> went ahead of them, there's a reason they were on the beavers. They right. like to beef. They all they were scissor sisters. Yeah, scissor. Mom, do you know what scissor sisters means? No, but when we were we ahead of them. They all pulled down their pants and. We saw all their asses. Beavers. My kids are in the audience going, yeah. Beavs. Clapping. Anyway. I didn't see any of those. You don't remember any of those. I must have not been there. (laughs) (laughs) You would have remembered it, honey. I mean, not. not We probably didn't let you go because we were playing the beavers. (laughs) Right, right, right. No, I remember them. The Lake Shore. They were Lake Shore Realty. Lake Shore Beavers, they were called. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It was was good good stuff. Now, this week. There's a hurricane coming up the west coast yeah. of California, and then coming and hitting us a little Weirdly bit. Weirdly hitting us, yeah. In there, yeah. And and um, Skyler calls us and says that she went to Walmart. To her first, water, her first, her, water. Mi- her first mistake. Right. And she, it took me 45 minutes to get water because everybody and their brothers getting water, flashlights, uh, Every, uh, candles, yeah. End all of the that world. kind of stuff. And um, I told that to mom, and she goes, "Oh, she's going to talk to you about that because." Um, what happened to you when you lived in L.A.? Well. And the same thing was happening? This happens all the time in L.A. Uh, earthquakes coming into the world. So we were young. Um, I don't think Eric was born yet. We were very young. With oh. Al's were cousin. you married? I don't know what we were. But well, you weren't okay. on the boat, so I don't think I'm guessing think we you were, were not around. married, but we didn't have kids yet. Oh, just so, right when you got married. Yeah. And so um, uh, Terry and Bruce, which she'll know if they listen to this, um, said, well, let's, just, let's go out on a sailboat. So when the end of the world comes, fire, earthquake, whatever, we'll be out in the ocean. On, on a so, sailboat. Like they were said, on the end sailboat. of the world is coming? On a big sailboat. Was it all over the news, like the end of the world's New, coming? Everybody was buying everything. Why, hiding, though? For what leaving. purpose? What year was that? But It was uh, around 1973. Before three. Eric was born. Well, I was born in seventy. 60 oh, okay. so 68, 69. I don't first know. they predicted like the end of the world event yes. in the 60s. Yes. They, they did in 2000. They did in 1984. Yeah. 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 So, 
you know, we decided, okay, we'll just go out there and see what happens. So the worst thing of all is that there were so many waves and so bad, the whole sailboat was leaning sideways and we were all it, at it, one it end. It was real calm at first. <laughs> and everything and then, was f- coming to our side and then it would go to the other side. And I was screaming, screaming. I go, take me back. I want to be at the end of the world out on land. <laughs> Well, yeah. You, what, so if you, what if your boat flipped over and you drowned right. before the end of the world? Right. Yeah. I said, why and am I out here? It obviously didn't happen either. Right. The, way, the waves got pretty big, and uh, you couldn't stand up at all. No. Oh, you, gee, you would have gone you over. Like, the well, pots and pans were flying when all When it over went the to the side, you were standing. Yeah. <laughs> you know, the sails we went. You looking straight down at your feet. And I go, we couldn't believe we went out there. But anyway... There was no end of the world, and we survived. I am real curious to see what how, how the California gets impacted by this hurricane, tropical storm. Here's my it prediction: it'll get real windy and rainy, but it won't be as big deal because I think it's going to lose a lot of power. I think so, what it says when it hits land, yeah, they're yeah. They had that one in Hawaii. Uh, I'm going to say ten years ago, eight years ago. It, it's going to hit Hawaii, and then the guys were on Honolulu, and they had a camera laying on the ground, and the, the waves were about an inch high. <laughs> yeah. That's what the news yeah. people always right. do. They, the flood's coming, coming. The camera's yeah. on the ground, so the waves look like yeah. they're huge. And yeah. Yeah, yeah that, that, that's what happens. And then a lot of times, the tsunami's going to hit, and it raises one inch. Right. It never even, it didn't actually pull a tsunami out. I, have, I do predict they're going to cut their power. Oh, California! Yeah, yeah they're so afraid they're, of well, they after should. what happened to Maui. Right, they're gonna they will cut power. I think that's so they why will, they're freaking yeah, out. Yeah, they were they'll they will need some flashlights, some some water and stuff. But mm-hmm. hey, mom, what are your feelings on what happened to Maui in Lahaina? It was a very I cannot stop thinking about it. It's we owned a condo in Maui in Kihei Maui for twenty eight years, and we spent a lot of time. And in we Lahaina. took our kids every year, and of course, we always went to Lahaina. We sat in the bar drinking. The kids all walked around all the shops. Going, where's Every my year- mom? Where's yeah. my yeah. mom? <laughs> Every year, it was his brother's birthday, Dave Petrella. Mm-hmm. Sorry to say that, yeah. You can say it. He doesn't care. And <laughs> it's really sad that we're not going to be celebrating his birthday anymore at uh, Chemo's. No. Yeah. I wonder if they're real bold. Skyler was pretty devastated about the banyan tree. It's like tree. our second home. And my, most yeah. people that have been to Lahaina know the big the, giant banyan yeah. tree. With, I have a, the kids swing all on the vines and stuff. If anybody, if the, tree, if the tree dies, I have a hundred pictures of the tree. Well, I, I don't think, think, we all do. I think the limbs. tree took a lot of heat on the, oh, yeah. no pun intended, took a lot <laughs> of the fire and it protected that building in front of it. I, th- it, I think know. the banyan tree is so big. But I'm st- the bur- the burnt stuff will go in about you know four five six inches, but it's, right. it's so big. Yeah. It'll, yeah. it'll it'll I think it'll, it'll come it'll, back. It'll survive. Me and Diane were talking about uh, the whole thing, and we were both we we're going somewhere. And I said we both said I cannot believe that Lahaina burned like that. Like that, you would like never so, in a million yeah. years think it. Mm-hmm. Like right never. by the that ocean, the fire. Yeah. Yeah. Every, they usually get the fire out. There's well, water. I, there's oh. Well, last night, mom, we're at the baseball game, and there's these people in the hallway, Sad. and she goes, oh, "It's our yeah. 61st anniversary." My husband's in the bathroom. Can you might have to go get him because he has a little bit of dementia or something? And it's been a while. Yeah, it's, he's been in there a while. And I said, "Oh, okay." And she says, "Yeah, we were supposed to go for our anniversary. We go to Maui every year." And um, she was she was very devastated. Yeah, because they canceled it, their I trip. I think Lahaina, people that go to Hawaii really know Lahaina. And people that are really de- go to Maui go there every year. And so yes. they really, so I think it's a big place. I, I They're going to raise a lot of money to build this thing back. Well, they're, I mean, yeah. they're going to need to. Yeah, because it's a special place. But I heard what we did here when they build it back, they're not going to put anything on the water. Everything will be on the other side of the street. Why? Because they're not going to build Why? that close to the water. They're going to build, everything will be on the one side of the street, and then the water seafront will be on the other side. So there's no obstructed views, basically, from mm. that side of the street. Wow. And the sad part is there's develop, there's de- uh. yeah, yeah, that's what they're going to do, they said. But I don't know, the sad part is there's developers going in there and offering everybody and their brother who lost property mm-hmm. money. To buy it. To buy it. And they're yeah. hoping the Hawaiians gather together and don't allow them to do that. I but, know. I you know, a lot so of too. times money talks and that's just going to happen. The, yeah, they, they can't afford to rebuild the house. They or, might yeah, pass and they offer two, three million mm-hmm. rickets, you know, oh, let's move to the mainland. Yeah, <laughs> you know, they got, you know, signs, uh, no tourist, uh, tourists go home. <sighs> Don't even go over there. Well, oh, we are. Oh, we're, they going won't over let there. Them. we're going over there in March. Right. <laughs> well, 
we can go see it then. But I <laughs> mean, you know? maybe, maybe yeah. not. Now it's still on fire. <laughs> yeah, but it's pretty, pretty bad. Pretty sad, but hopefully. It's very um, sad for our family yeah. and our kids growing up. Yeah. Very, very sad. I think a lot of people feel that same way. And I I hopefully, for- hopefully everything will rebuild as fast as it can. I mean, it's going to take I know. probably, what, five, ten years, Dad? It probably will, yeah. I I mean, mean, five for sure. I and pray for ten. everybody in Maui. I, the thing is, all, very upset. all those restaurants yes. and stuff, they're going to be ordering, like, just say, uh, chemo, I need, I need uh, 80 tables, those coal wood table things or whatever, and I need 160 chairs. Yeah, but that's only need, one restaurant. And I, I have a million this, of them, yeah. And I need this equipment. No, there was a guy I that need. owned three restaurants. One was the fish. You know, you see the fish with the all the bones. Mm-hmm. He said he had 200 employees. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Chemo's probably had, I mean, I don't Which know how he many. He's trying to give them money. Out He's of giving them money yeah. as much as he can. Yeah. That's tough. Sad. I wonder if, um, do you know that guy Gary, Mom, the Golden Bachelor? <laughs> do you know him? Do you I don't know him. him. I've seen, you him. seen him on TV. Do you want to yeah. know him? No. <laughs> now, yeah. we, Kylie and I watched this Bachelor. The, the and when, when they introduced him, the end. Yeah. And I got a kind of a tear in my eye. He I lost too. his wife. He's what he retired, and his wife died. I didn't know that. Yeah, like and a then, month. They bought their like dream retirement house, yeah, and yeah. the month later, she died. Yeah, he's kind of dorky. A little bit, but well, fine. Dad yeah. looks better, but you know. Right. Well, that's this guy's seventy-one. Dad's dad's older than him. <laughs> and dad looks better than him. Dad's 74, and he's 72. He's got, oh, he is? I thought he was 71. Oh, 71. Well, maybe, well, well by the time 71. they did that, maybe. Maybe he just and, had a birthday. <laughs> well. I'm going to watch this show. It interests he me. Seems it also interests like me. like he might be nice, you know. He seems know. like Diane, he's real I nice. Your, but I Diane, do know. I have your permission to go on the Bachelor 70, uh, or whatever they call it? You wouldn't Golden even, Bachelor? You wouldn't even hear what the girl was saying. <laughs> I mean, he does. Like, Gary does have hearing aids. He does. Oh, he has hearing oh, aids. He does, yeah. Oh. He has hearing aids. Yeah. God. Hey. Well, a lot of seven year olds have hearing aids. Not me. Or need them. But didn't you say he had like an overbite or something? He looks like he has a little overbite. It was kind of cute. <laughs> a kind of a cute overbite? Yeah. I, if dated, something happened, I dated a buck tooth person. <laughs> if something happened to Al, would you go on The Golden Bachelor? No. Diane. Oh, me? Yes. No. Oh, I, I don't Mom think would I be can. great on there. I think they're going to hang glide. No, no. If yeah. something happened to Al, would you be a contestant on The Golden Bachelor? Well, I don't know if they'd take me. I think I would be too old. You have to be no, younger. I think. I Not think for The so. Golden no. Bachelor. I think you could be The Golden Bachelorette. I yeah. think you, you would, have 50 I think guys. you would, like, fit right in on that. Well, what am I going to do? I mean, ski? No, no, no. You go on, like, a we picnic have, to the dog park. We all have right. knee replacements. Right. So that's oh, I'm intrigued. i go the dog way. Yeah. They're not going to have these I'm gonna, guys I'm excited to see what these, like, stuff. what these dates are going to be. Yeah, yeah you have a heart attack. Yeah, you're not going to be skydiving. You know what? You're not going to be uh, ATV. No, no. You know what? I go, I tell them, find me somewhere to play ping pong, because I'm going to win oh, okay. all the tournaments. See? Oh, that's pretty good. 80 her, years old. She would like her I'm a good ping pong player, and anybody out there... It wants to challenge me oh, okay. at 75. Oh, okay. I'm not 75. <laughs> I mean, 70, whatever I am. I'm not 75. Okay. Right. Joke. I'm not. So they would challenge you in a ping pong okay. game. Right? I always say I'm a year older. permission to go on She's to She's like, the actually, you guys can take her. Any of, these, <laughs> older age any, of these, any of these guys who can't beat me, you're a piece of shit. Right. They could leg wrestle you. That right. oh, maybe could yeah. be a deciding factor. Uh, leg wrestle. And I know you can't get on the ground enough. <laughs> anyway, and ping pong. I challenge any okay, of you. Okay, so old that's would be there. her thing. Yeah, that'd be good. We'll see. Yeah, you went to skydive and all that stuff. No, I no. think they're gonna go to like a wineries and like. Yeah, they'll go to wineries yeah. and they'll they'll they'll, they'll take they strolls in the park kind of sport, on the beach. Yeah. You know, yeah. if they get a younger cooking girl, they classes. Might ski. Well, nowadays they might do that pickleball. Everybody oh, plays they pickleball. look like pickleball. Yeah. yeah. You know, easy. all the old people play pickleball. It looks easy enough. Hey, Dad, you know what the top injury is now of sports? It's pickleball. Pickleball. Yeah. Not softball. Not yeah. soccer. Whatever. Pickleball. Pickleball. Dad. Um. Pulled his whole leg out. He's in, he can't play pickleball Who? anymore. Mel's dad. Mel's dad. Oh, and he said Bill. I'm like, who's Bill? No, a lot of people. Uh, Mel's dad. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people have been hurting themselves in pickleball. I, we played for a couple hours. I was sore after playing pickleball. It's just a. I was sore. It's kind of like between ping pong and tennis. The, yeah. A right. mix between there. Yeah. Maybe. yeah. Or maybe racquetball, too. I'm, you know but, what? but more like tennis maybe and ping I pong. Try yeah. It. You probably no. would like it. Yeah. Why don't you no, guys fine. come over and we'll play on our pickleball court? You have a pickleball court? Yeah. I think Arrow oh. Creek has I'll one, I'll yeah. see if it's like ping pong. Kind yeah. of, but you, it's like on a court like tennis, though, a smaller court. Oh, it's short. Yeah, we have it. It's all lit up at night. Right. 
Yeah. Well, the, anyway, when the, when you go on the Bachelor, they have all these dates and stuff. So when someone dates this guy, he uh-huh. has kids and grandkids. Yeah, they have to so meet his kids and grandkids. they're going to have to meet his and kids. And he's going to have to meet their, her kids and grandkids. Yeah, and that's going to change it. That's a game changer because yeah, that you know, is. your kids aren't going to hold back. They're going to be like, no, this guy's not for you. Right. He wants well, to take your money. You how know, long has right, his yeah. wife been gone? Six years. Six years. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. So it's going to be interesting. He actually I'm had like a really good yeah, answer is about because he's like, I'm not – like, no one can replace my wife. Like, I just want someone to share my life with. It's going to be a different kind of yeah, life. Yeah, but do you think someone worked really, on with that prepared I don't know. answers? It was, I think so. It yeah. sounded pretty, like, legit. Like, I was like, oh, he's got it together. Well. I'm excited. It bugs me that his name is Gary, and they spell it G-E-R-R-Y. <laughs> like a like Jerry. Jerry. It is Gary. It is well, Gary. On the internet, they said he has a devid. What do you say it? How do you say it? Divid. Deviated septum? I had one no, of those. No, <laughs> of wrinkles. Oh, he has, no, he has no wrinkles. Oh, he has got Botox. No, no, they didn't say. No, they said they were like. Remember the commercial? I don't know. They're like he doesn't have Deviated. wrinkles. Deviated he has skin. No. And what is it called? <laughs> you mean his face is like really fat? No, <laughs> no, smooth. <laughs> divots? Are you talking about divots? No, it, it, it's smooth though. Why your is his d- face your, smooth? Your dad does. Where's your dad's wrinkles besides his eyes? <laughs> I got wrinkles. What are you talking well, about? He doesn't have no Don't draw days. attention to me over your stupid <laughs> programs. <laughs> Dad doesn't even watch. You're not going to watch The Bachelor Dad next season. Watch this, show. This, <laughs> this one might be the only yeah. one I ever. I think watched. you should watch it. This is might be. You might watch this it. one might be uh, funny or. I think it it's going to be. It's going to be probably the one. I, I don't watch the other stuff. I think, I think it's, it's going to revive stupid. The Bachelor. I think it's going to be pretty interesting. I do too. It'll yeah. bring the older people. To yeah. yeah, I think it'll bring. I'm excited. Now, yeah. do you think? I doubt they would have sex if they went to the romance suite he or said fantasy suite. He didn't. He didn't. What he answered that question. What did he say? Like you, you know, you go to the fantasy suite, you have sex or whatever. It was like I think we'll, it. Yeah. We'll see. It like, was kind of like that, but it was like it's more. It's more than that you're like not. You don't care about that as much when you're older. Yeah, they just want to like you know get naked and lay next to each other. Did you just like to have a conversation with a camera? Oh, conversation. In your face? I oh, think okay. it's gonna be more of conversation than walking through petting. The wineries <laughs> or whatever they do. Petting. Heavy petting. Petting like a petting zoo. You see if you have, you have to take your teeth out or not. Petting old zoo. <laughs> Hopefully, he has teeth. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you learn things like that. Yep. <laughs> How much you grow when you get out of bed? That's you know. Yeah. Yeah. When if you go, I knew you grew uh, up this month, I might have changed oh, Everybody out snores uh, and right. you snore. Yeah. Yeah. We might, I might have changed my mind had I known this was going to be my future. Oh, Just stop. joking, honey. You wouldn't want to be with me. <laughs> I'm as old as fucking Jerry Gary. <laughs> Just go with that. Jerry I don't like Gary. his name, but that's okay. Right. Jerry Bear. Say, yeah. Gare Bear. Life with Eric is brought to you by <laughs> Petrilla Conky Construction. Thanks, Dad. And <laughs> doTERRA Essential Oils. You can get those from Aisla Mueller. And Mom, if you're ever on Instagram, you can get those from her at, at <laughs> This essential life. Now, when you guys you guys are going down to your high school reunion, right? <laughs> that Dad, was a- Dad says. Yeah, but are you really going to go at the end of September? Um, Do it. I, I already paid for it, but I, oh, I don't. I oh, don't go. I don't know. Now Why? you don't want to go. They they had to do it for a fifty six year reunion because they thought everybody'd be dead by sixty. Sixty. Yes. Like just so in case right. we had to squeeze this in. So, 56. I mean, oh, I, yeah, yeah. I know that they'll all know us because we look basically <laughs> the look same. You look so good. Basically the same and <laughs> look better. Yeah. yeah. And we'll get the longest hair. Everyone marriage. will know Dad it's... Get, well, are your faces the smoothest? We'll kind of get the most hair, but I don't know. That, you know, but most people are bald. But he still has hair. <laughs> yeah. So, that's good. I mean, you, you always have more fun than you think because you just everybody's talking yeah. about their kids and yeah. grandkids and I'm sure we're the stuff. only one with a great grandson. I'm sure you're not. Really? Yeah, I think I don't think you will be the only one. Oh no, no, I uh-uh. I think they will be. Our I age, don't. we're the oldest married. We got the most grandkids, and now we're gonna be the only one. I know it. I don't think so. Really? Why? Why do you say that so matter of factly that they would? Out of they, all those people, they're the only ones with a great grandchild. Yeah, I don't think so. Maybe you I think, think so? so? I think so. I mean, there's I a lot. Of, to also, see. there's a lot of teen pregnancies out there, so well, I don't think so. That's true. Yeah, oh. our granddaughter. Yeah, our, oh. our granddaughter is thirty. Thirty yeah. when she had the baby. She's thirty one. Yeah, I never now. thought about that. Yeah, so um, I don't. Yeah. I don't think. Now you're right. Uh, yeah, Kylie, I mean, you're right. Yeah, There's, someone you, had somebody. You could have a normal functioning family. Yes. Right. <laughs> yeah, it might not have been a normal. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm just. But, you, but if it was more natural, you guys are pretty young, so it would. It would. Yes. 
it, w- it would happen. Well, everywhere we go, everybody freaks out, so it doesn't really matter. But <laughs> well, you can brag that your great grandparents. Well, we're gonna have to, when you get back from your reunion, we're gonna have to have you back on for a report on that for sure. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'll have a lot to say. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. <Bad. laughs> now we have our new advertisement on the podcast. This is the first time we're ever going to inaugural gonna, inaugural we're going to play it and i want you to get your comments on our new ad for a podcast Are everybody ready okay no. quiet no. now <laughs> this segment of life with eric is brought to you by 430 national great american storage america and reno yard for all your outdoor storage needs what do you think yeah What's it called? <laughs> the Reno Yard. It's just a yard in the storage. Oh, okay. We we did a we did a uh, um um a thing to it. Did you like it? She goes, "Great American storage." I go, "America." <laughs> you want to hear it again? Mm, I, think I don't know it, about yeah. it. I don't know what national. Yeah, Dan wants to hear it again. Four thirty yeah. national. I know, but you don't know those companies. Here we go. Oh, Dan Here we go. Knows. Okay. This segment of Life with Eric is brought to you by 430 National. Great American Storage. America. And Reno Yard. For all your outdoor storage needs. I thought it was pretty good. No, we, it we sounds did that better pretty, the second time. America. Yeah. We did that pretty fast, too. Yeah. No, it sounds better the second time. Yeah. I didn't get it at first. Who came yeah. up with that? You said it, then I said America. <laughs> okay. I thought that was funny. I giving myself credit. Yeah, Kylie did come up with a lot of it. And who, who owns it? <laughs> Me and it. I own the 430 National, and Dad owns the Reno Yard. Me and Dad are on the Reno Yard. Got it. Yeah. <laughs> um, anyway, last week um, on the podcast, uh, we talked about uh, me roller skating. Yes. Now, if I had a birthday party at the Roller Kingdom, would you come? Yes. I remember you roller skating with the short corduroy shorts on. Oh, and we could recreate that. you were skating in the yard. Right. You I used sk- to roller skate all the time. In mean, real, mean real Greg. short corduroy shorts, I remember. Oh, that's fine. Right. <laughs> right. And then I had like tennis shoe roller skates. Mm-hmm. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. I was like going oh, again. Oh, so you you could get those dress shoe skates and fit right in. Yeah. yeah. I was surprised <laughs> on the dress shoes. Skates. No, now they have like, like tuxedo shoes they with were wheels tux- on them. Yeah. It's the weirdest thing I've ever seen. They look like they're dancing? Yeah. 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 Oh. yeah. It's like ballroom dancing. The, the most fascinating thing about the roller rink, Dad, is that uh, next door to it, is the motel where all the like the hookers go? Supposedly, right next to the roller skate. So when I we were talking about that, well, supposedly yeah, hookers. I heard it. No, we were talking about that, and a, a few people had commented in and stuff, and they're like, <laughs> "That was so funny." But the hookers go to the the hookers bring all their kids to the roller <laughs> rink, you know, and I go, "No, I just said that." We just made that up. Where's yeah, the roller door. rink at? in a Wells Bowl, uh, Wells, yeah, like on eighty old, old Reno, kind of by Bavarian World, where the oh. where they where they uh, you know, it's kind uh, of in the d- hood. Dad's never heard it's of kind of in the hood. Yeah. But yeah. do you do you think that uh dad could roller skate? No. I don't know, could you? Yeah. I don't know, roller skate. I, I dad know could how to ice skate. Dad could ice skate. I think he could oh, ice skate. Okay, if you can ice skate, okay. I didn't know he could ice skate. It was so fun, Mom. I had a good time. I had a well, really good time. I, I would like to go roller skating. I love ice <laughs> I like skating. How she's like but, roller skating. You know, skating. when I <laughs> but I would love to go bowling. Uh, oh love yeah, a bowl. mom's a good bowler. Well not I don't even know now. It's like a dream. No, mom does every sport where you can drink and smoke. And that's yeah. bowling. It's like yeah. a dream. Right. I don't even know if I can. That bowl. would be. What other sport can but you drink nobody, and smoke at? I'm not going to gambling. Smoke. I don't <laughs> when smoke. she was on the softball <laughs> team, did she have a seg hanging out? Well, everybody did then. <laughs> then oh, okay, so yes. Did, yeah, yes. No, but I mean, I'm talking about bowling. I want my family. First of all, it was softball. But now we're getting too old. Yeah, let's just bowl. Now a family I bowling night. Bowling. Family bowling night. I'll tell you what. Kylie we'll rent the whole bowling alley in incline. Oh, there you go. Well, I'll tell you what. Kylie wanted to go bowling for one of her birthday parties. Yeah, I did. Yeah. And we couldn't find bowling space. It was everything. Oh, no, I know. Bowling's so popular. I used to have my own ball bag. All right. Mom used to bowl on the uh, Monday, Monday night. Monday football, night. Widow. Oh, football Widows. widows they football called Widows. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah. all the men were watching Monday and night all we football. Would do so they had bowling on Monday night. watch football and we would bet. We did the same thing the guys were doing, but we were bowling. You were bowling at the same time. Yeah. You were a good bowl. What was your average, Mom? Oh. oh, I don't know, 140-something. Yeah, like 140. That's but pretty I, good I got almost, you know, I got in the high 200s before. Yeah. But it was so much fun, you know. Mm-hmm. Go, we used to I go with back. mom on Sundays a lot because she'd warm up for Monday. Oh, oh. Yeah, and we get all the food. Yeah, and, the kids. yeah you get food at yeah. the bowling alley. It was great. And, uh, oh, okay. You just went yeah. for the food? Yeah, yeah the food. We all we all bowled. We all bowled. Oh, okay. And when we bowled, those are the days you kept score on the scorecard. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then and they changed it finally to the. So you could cheat? Yeah. Yeah, I, I our, our, youngest, our youngest cheat. son Marcus used to go with his mom. You got a gutter. Do it again. 
our youngest son Marcus used to go to the bowling alley with uh, mom to bowl, and uh, <laughs> mom would beat him, and he would just he just sit in the really corner and pout. Just such a, oh, okay, and pout. <laughs> He's all, "Why am I here?" <laughs> <laughs> yep, he didn't like me to beat him. <laughs> oh, he would pout when you beat him. Got it. Oh yeah, yeah. I misheard. Yep. Yep. Yeah, win him. <laughs> I thought you were hitting him. So. No. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, anybody out there listening to us and you like this podcast, share it. So, Mom, all your friends down at the bar, when they have our podcast, tell them to share it with another friend that really helps us out. Or rate us a five or um, a follow us. That really helps us out. And if anybody listens to us out there on Stitcher, do you know what Stitcher is, Dad? <laughs> no. Right. If Sounds anybody like listens to us thing. out there on Stitcher, it, it's just another platform where you listen to the podcast. Oh. It's going to be gone uh, yes, August 29th, so you can have to switch your platform to Pandora, who we are on that, oh, or yes, Apple, or Spotify, or uh, do you know who any of these are, Dan? Apple, uh, Spotify? Spotify? I heard Spotify. Yeah, it's like where you, listen to, our, where you listen to our podcast. So tell all your friends that, Mom. Bruce and Linda, tell them that. <laughs> yeah. and our Dad, friends. Yeah. And, and, and yeah. if they don't listen, flip them the bird. Yeah, Dad will. The whole world yeah. will see it, and everybody yeah. will be honking and there you driving go. on down. Can I say one thing before we end the thing? Yes. <laughs> so the stuff yes. that I ate that they call blood sausage <sighs> is called kishka. Ah, it came to us. Uh, so oh. if you want to eat blood Who sausage. Who stole the kishka? Eat. Kishka. That's a song. And there's a song. Oh. Who, Who stole, stole the, the kishka? kishka? And I'm <laughs> going to get mad. Oh, no, that's not a wrong song. That's, yeah, no, we used to... Um, uh, dance to that at uh, po- all the Polish dance. parties. Polka dances. Oh, okay. Who stole the kishka? Oh, huh. who stole the kishka? Interesting. Yeah. I think I might like the Sparky's thing. A little crispy <laughs> fat. Because you know when you you get gris, it's basically it's basically gristle. So cut yeah. it. I guess. Cut off yeah. all the fat, cook it up, and serve it as an hors d'oeuvre. Uh, I don't know if I can do that. <laughs> I don't yeah. know if I can. I can they used to fight over it. Happen. Eric ate them all the time. Can I you tell? believe that? <laughs> <laughs> Okie dokes. Yeah. Why you think? Oh, because I got all those fat. I got those lipomas all over me. Probably. <laughs> Is that where they came from? Just joking. I think no. so. Little fatty, little fatty deposits. You just want everybody wants to know. Thanks, right. Eric. <laughs> right. Well, dear. <laughs> guess what? We've already elapsed this podcast. And it's gone almost that. longer than our normal I, podcast. I, I do believe that. Why? Um, anyway, who we cheers in today? Day. Well, Last call. we obviously have to cheers to our guests. Mom and dad. Yep. The old folks. <laughs> the old <laughs> folks. Our highest rating podcast. The funniest thing happened today, mom, or yesterday. So a guy that works with Kylie, who's, I think he's Mormon. Yes, he is. So he's, you know, straight and narrow. Yeah. <laughs> so I said, <laughs> like, hey. Maybe. <laughs> he goes, I never listened to your podcast. I said, well, hey. Because I, I never told him we had one. Right. I, he goes, you yeah. have a podcast? I said, yeah, listen to us. And Kylie's, I was well, like, you might not like the material. Like, we're explicit. And stuff, we're explicit. And goes, no, no. I want to listen to yeah, you. So I'm all afraid. I see him at the baseball game. And he goes, I listened to your podcast. I watched it, actually. <laughs> Yikes. And I go, you watched it on YouTube? And I go, well, what episode did you watch? He goes, well, I watched one of your most popular episodes. The one called Bare Naked Parents. <laughs> oh, no. And I go, oh, was my mom and dad oh. wrong? We went to the nude beach. And he's oh. like, he's like, oh, yeah, that one. And I, I go, how'd you like it? And he goes, oh, it was good. <laughs> oh, my God. That's so he's embarrassing. Like, I'm looking at Kylie differently now. Differently now, yeah, but it's fine. But I thought it was funny that he said he watched it. He didn't That's listen so to it. That's so embarrassing. And he goes, yeah, he, he said he really liked it. But, he, you know, he's Mormon. He was like, oh, yeah, these guys are crazy. Like, you know, right. just because you're Mormon like, or something, right. they do I was, dirty things. You have to go back That's and see They're a bit of dirty minds. <laughs> Half the people of the Roller Kingdom are Mormon. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> I'm think? sure they are. That's creepy then. Yeah. Do, do Mormons what? have tattoos? Ooh, I don't think like, so. Do I don't think so. Or is it against no, their religion? I'm to think who's I don't know if it's Mormon. necessarily against their religion, but I think it's not. I know like Jewish people, it is against their religion. Do not have tattoos. Not, uh, sure. You're not allowed to be buried in a Jewish like cemetery if you have a tattoo. Oh, okay. Um, but I don't. I don't think it's against. I think it's just there's like conservative by nature, so it's not really there. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna put this on. Thing. So Dad and I's uh, new tattoo. Oh, and oh, whoa, you're getting a tattoo. Dad's getting a tattoo. Yeah, I'm we put found this on. You're going to go on the air saying you're getting a tattoo? We found Mom a tattoo no. artist. Oh, that, he just said no. Yes, he is. Okay. Mm. And it's going to be called uh, Live a Great Story. And is, is it going to be scripts or words? Live a Great Story. <laughs> no, <laughs> words. Is it going to be a picture you, uh, or words, or is it going to be in Japanese or something? <laughs> words. No, it's going to be in words. Letters. 
not going to be a picture. Letters, Eric. You don't like your trust. <laughs> anyway. If it, if it was a, like if it was a picture, it, like my whole body my would thrust. be tattooed. <laughs> my thrust. No, but Dad cannot figure it. The only thing that's large on him is his legs. <laughs> what? His calves. Yeah. They're large. Very, oh, you're putting on your calf? His calves yeah. are the strongest thing that's on oh, his body. that's pretty good. Where Not are you putting it? Uh, probably my... On your neck? <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, you freaking son. I got to put it on my forearm where there's no wrinkles and no freckles. Right where your thrust is? Yeah, I think you should put it on your neck, Mike Tyson. <laughs> Birdman. Put it across your face here. <laughs> Birdman. Bird, bird woman. Hey, you want to hear something funny, Mom? <laughs> so I'm at swimming the other day. I said this on the podcast last week, but I have the sun on my shoulder. And oh, the, girl, yeah. the girl's like, oh, ooh, are you, oh, are you okay? You got a bruise. So I'm looking at my arm. I'm like, where's the bruise? Where? Oh, yeah, I'm fine. Where's the bruise? She goes, no, right there. And I go, oh, no, it's a tattoo. She goes, oh, I'm sorry. I go, it's like a black blob now. Did, did, did Kylie know when you got that tattoo, you were holding your mom's hand? I did not. <laughs> was I? Yeah. Oh, boy. I was sitting next to you. And I hold your free. hand? Yeah. Oh, boy. My mommy got a tattoo with me. Uh, well. That's sad. How old were you? <laughs> Do you remember that question I asked you at the beginning were of the podcast? Were you splashing water in my face? Yeah, yeah Mom probably. was taking water and splashing it in my face. No, I so didn't want you to faint. Out? No, so I didn't faint. I was sitting She's right next to you. keeping me up with water. Oh, good Lord. <laughs> yeah. Nobody knows it. Now they do. Now, now they, they do. do. Now that everybody knows <laughs> yeah. it. Yeah. Probably Marcus, too. <laughs> when I get it removed... I won't have anybody come with me. I'll do it Just by myself. Just do a tattoo over the top. Yeah, I don't want a idiot. giant bird woman on my back. <laughs> a giant bird. Uh, that'd be the eyeball of the giant bird that'll be on my back. Oh, they I know how to do one stuff eye on top. Owl, one eye of an owl and make the other owl look fortunate. So it'll probably take up your whole Why don't you have one back? eye of the owl open and one eye of the owl winking <laughs> closed? <laughs> Just get a giant yeah. mural on your put, back. You know, I used to have that. C on my back. <laughs> it, it was like C. a dolphin. It was like a C. Oh, it looked like oh, a C, okay. but it was a as dolphin. It, as it wore out, it looked like a C. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then I just uh, did birds over it, and you can't even see it. Right. Eric, you could turn it into a jellyfish. <laughs> yeah. There you all go. Me- all messed up. <laughs> the bunch jellyfish? Of tentacles or whatever it is. Put some testicles. Put some tentacles on that sign. <laughs> I could just put tentacles on it and be like an octopus or a squid. Yeah, Yeah, it looks like a squid. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, no. Let's not do that. Well, I'm just glad Dad's getting a tattoo. That's good. I think that's cool. When is this happening? Well, it's a friend of mine where I get my nails done. Her tattoos are gorgeous. Oh, did you talk to the artist? No, but oh, her tattoos pro- are you gorgeous. You should probably call, I'm call them. I'm trying to think of what kind of letters to go. It's your good friend. Yeah, why you we, should probably make an yeah. appointment, Why don't though? we go out to dinner, and we we'll are. all go and watch you get the tattoos? Or no, do you want to do it's it? It's in Midtown. Why don't you do it for your anniversary? Oh, there you go. Duh. Well, that's you better call, because that's coming in don't hot. Push it. It's a friend of mine. Oh, that's when you want to do it, for your anniversary. But you should really call, because it usually takes weeks to get in with Ted. They're They're booked up. Oh. Like well, a good tattoo artist is booked. Out. Well, I'm gonna I'll get my nails done tomorrow. I'm oh. Monday. Yeah, get I'm the Monday. number. Get the number. I got the number. Well, call. Yeah. I didn't call Just, yet. You should call because they it, do book up. sedate dad. Right. <laughs> well, have the ambulance waiting. Three or four shots of tequila. <laughs> yeah, have the ambulance waiting waiting on by. You're not supposed to drink a lot before a tattoo because your blood will really bleed. Thin, so. I thought everybody drinks before a tattoo. Just, right. take, I, I, just I think, take three or four. There's a old satyr coming in. They also, too, if you... Drug take, people twitch too much. Take three or four Advil. Unconsciously. <laughs> oh, they do? Yeah. Didn't know that. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, well, hey, by the next podcast, you guys both might have new tattoos. No, he's. we got to get it. Live a great story. Okay, let's do it. Thank Live you, God. a great story. No. That's what Thank our, you, God. That's our life. Subscribe or follow us on wherever you listen to your podcasts. Or just go to our website at lifewitheric.com. And don't forget to follow us on social media for updates and a closer look into my life with Eric. To all of our listeners out there, remember, it's always happy hour here. Cheers, everybody. Love you guys. You're the best. Love you, Mom. Love Love you, Dad. Love you, Keeks. Dad takes his earphones off.